Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Java tutorial. So let's begin. So last time we made a little login system with a main menu and when we type in the password so we'll put a better one so YouTube and then password just so we can go in easier. If we click play we have a little login system and now I realized on the videos you can't actually see what this is without zooming in so I added a little feature which I will only bring up when I'm doing something I really hope you can see it but ma magnifier at bottom corner um, I'm not going to drag my mouse over there but you can see you've got username type in username click submit so here if I type in YouTube and then password and we click submit you'll see that we get this big Tamagotchi thing right here as you can see so we click it and it does nothing see nothing's happening so we need to make it do something. Neither does a quit button. So if we cross it off and go to design. And main menu and design again. So what we're going to do is click on our form here. And if we go to the top up here. Um, let's see if I can resize this so it's not in way. I'll put it here. Yes. So you can look there. If we go to the top here where it says default operation close. Um, end on close in properties. If you can't get it right click properties. It'll bring it up like here what you're going to do is set it to um, dispose and what that will do is basically delete this form when we close it off but if we close the main menu one we want it to close everything so you can see it's kind of a security thing well not security it's just a preference so on our main menu we're going to double click the click quit button and right in here um, in the J2 button which is our close we're going to type in here this dot dispose like so and that will destroy or get rid of this form when we click close button right there perfect right so if we click Tamagotchi here double click it we need it to open a new form for us and the form what we want to open is our actual game of it so we'll type um, game form equals new game just like so and what that will do is create a variable in the RAM like I said called game and at the moment it's showing an error because it doesn't know what game is because we don't have game here so in here we're going to type form dot set visible true and what that'll do is basically make that form create it in the RAM then show it on screen easy so up here, I'm going to right click on default package, new, and I'm going to find JFrame form, click that, and class name I will call game, click finish, and you will see that it creates it. The errors disappear from main menu, or it will in a minute, there we are, they've disappeared, and something cool, if you, if you hold control and click on it, it actually takes you to the form game, easy right? So in here, this is where our monster is going to be, correct? So let's just make some health or something for it, just something basic. So we'll drag it out to a good-ish good -ish size, put the mag magnifier over there. So we, we're going to use some labels. So we'll drag a label out, and we'll, in this label I will type health. Well, not health, that's not really one. We'll say... Um, bladder so does it need to go to the toilet I'll put colon on the end yes and I'm gonna copy it and paste it again and put it under there so here I in text I will type something else so we'll say um, hunger and as you can see we're making a small list of stuff so hunger um, tiredness I think that's spot wrong I before E tired I think that's right actually I'm not sure so we've got three hunger bladder and tiredness but I'm gonna make them all the match up in this um, right side just because then it looks a bit neater and I'm gonna add a progress bar not a password field a progress bar to every single one which we can use as a little life thing so add it on and it should be the same size as what it's equipped to so we can copy paste paste 
there. So we now have three stats bars. But what I'm going to do is select all at once. Okay, apparently I'm not going to. I'm going to resize it to roughly 70. In C sharp, you can do that all at once. God, I love C sharp. Um, but yeah, so we've got all three. So I'm going to click bladder, right click, and click change variable name to bladder amount. Um, yes, it may take me a while to get used to it. So bladder amount, click OK. Right click, change variable name. We'll call this one hunger amount. And the same for tiredness. Um, sleep. I'll call it sleep amount, because then I know it's spelled right. Yes. So we have all three. But at the moment, if we click bladder and go to its properties there and go down, you'll see value here. And at the moment, it's set to zero. We don't want that. We want it set to 100. Because if you look at the maximum here, it's set to 100. So we'll just set it to full. Actually, no, that's bad. No. My apologies. Zero. So it's got no bladder, which is good, because it doesn't mean it needs to go to the toilet. Hunger will set to 100. So we know it's not hungry at all. And tiredness will put 100 again. So... It's got no bladder, meaning it doesn't want to go to the toilet. It's got full hunger, meaning it's quite um, full. Or, okay. And tiredness is full, meaning it's not sleepy. If you've ever played The Sims games, you know where I'm ripping this directly off of. Don't sue me, it's for testing purposes. Nah, 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 nah. But yeah, so we've got all three of them. So what do we want to do with them? So what we want to do is make the values go down. Correct? Yes. But we're not going to do it yet. Because in order to do it, we need to use something called a timer. Now in C Sharp, a timer is so simple. But in Java, it's not as simple. It's quite... It's not super hard, but it's just nice simple-ish. Just understand my language, everybody here. Yes. But, so, we're going to make it kind of do it. So we're going to drag a label out here to help the users. And I'll just roughly put it uh, there it's in line with the top one and in here your character needs what does our character need? I apologize for that building work outside I hope you can still hear me your character needs to go to the toilet there we go um, yes we call it toilet in the UK I know some of you call it restrooms or um, whatever but yeah, so your character needs to go to the toilet, right click, change variable name, um, user help. So every time the bladder is low, it needs to go to the user toilet, correct? So we'll go to our source, I smell something nice, I don't know where it is. But yeah, so above main here, so make sure it's above, we're going to press enter a couple of times, and we're going to type here, public uh, static, that's it, yep. Yeah. Public static void, and what should we call our function? Check stats. That'll do. And in brackets, put our curly ones just like that. Public void check stats. There we go. Now you can see perfectly. So what we're going to do is check if I, if one of these stat if the bladder is low, well full, then it's going to print this. So we're going to go to click our label, and we're going to find visible which I believe isn't one so what we're gonna do is go back to our source and in public class game here where it's the top of it line hidden apparently god damn it. um 10 in the brackets come into public game and under has initialized components we're gonna type user help which is our label and we're gonna type dot set visible false and what that will do is basically say, as soon as the game loads, this is the first thing it does whenever it loads the form. It does this once, so it'll set the user help to false. Brilliant. So in check stats, we're going to type user help. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to type if, and then we need the name of our bladder. So bladder amount is more than, so if it's more than a number, so remember your basic mathematics, we're going to type 70. <coughs> so if it's more than 70, it means they want to go to the bathroom. 
correct? So butter amount dot get and then when it decides to share so it's decided not to share it because there's an underscore missing so if bladder amount dot get and then we type value bracket bracket keep the brackets on so if bladder amount dot get value so it grabs its value is more than 70 then it's good yes I mean it's bad it means it wants to show it so we can put here it's showing an error non static variable bladder cannot be referenced from a static context Again, different in C sharp. Delete the word static and it'll go away. So bladder amount dot get value is more than 70. What do we do? Well we panic. So we set user help dot set text um, to what do we set it to? Your character needs to go to the bathroom. Your character needs to go to the bathroom. Perfect, right? So, yeah. But we also need to make it visible. So, user help dot set visible true. Perfect. And then we can put after this else user help dot set visible false. So, if it doesn't need to go to the toilet, set it false. We don't need to see it anymore. Correct? Yes. Easy. Perfect. So, we can try it, but it won't do anything. We need to call it somehow. So we're going to click design, and just until we get a timer on, we're going to stick a button on, right there. And we'll double click the button, here, and we're going to type copy, check stats, and paste it in here. So, <coughs> every time we click the button, check the stats, it comes down here, bladder amount, continue. Perfect. So we'll change the text of this to check. And then we're also going to drag one more button out, just one more. And in here, we're going to put, okay, we'll drag two out. We'll put on this first one a plus. And on the second one, we'll put a minus. Positive and minus. So increase, decrease. So double click the plus one. It's deciding to do it up here, which is really annoying. And we'll put user not user bladder spelt wrong bladder amount dot set value and then in brackets we will put um, bladder amount dot get value so we're getting its current value and we'll plus it by 10 so that will increase the bladder amount by 10 so if we copy that entire line and go back to minus, we can paste it in here. So in the minus one, and then simply change the plus to a minus. So really, really simple, right? But it's not checking stats yet still. So if we copy the check stats from up here with the semicolon, we can paste it after each one, like so. So every time we click one of those buttons, it'll check the stats. So let's try it, because it might work. Might. Remember I said might. So I'm going to drag this magnifier across so you got more of a view. So you can see everything I'm doing. So right there is here. Username, password. So YouTube password. Spelled wrong. YouTube password. Click submit. You are logged in. Tamagotchi? Sure. Haha, -ha, look at that. See, this is why I'm not a fan of Java that much. Orange bring the design it shows it is green. Annoying. But yeah, so we check. Nothing shows. We click plus, it increases our bladder. Plus 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 plus. Plus and um, plus. Your character needs to go to the bathroom. So we didn't even have to click check. We click minus again, it goes away, you don't need bathroom no more. And then we after a time we can just make it so we're down. So Basic on progress bars, I'll close that magnifier off, that's kind of annoying. Sorry for the complaining of Java, um, I really, really am a C-sharp guy, um, but a lot of you Mac users can't use C-sharp, which sucks a lot, but I, I will try and find a program for you people and you Linux users, because then I will be able to help you as much as possible with that. But thank you for watching, the codes are in the description if you want them. Also, my website is now in the description, it has links to everything, please use it, it's cool. There's 
no ads, no links, nothing. It's all there. It's cool. See you later.